Similar to what we presented in the previous video, we now want to introduce you to our non-exhaustive machine learning taxonomy. Why non-exhaustive? Well, with the number of different algorithms that are already in place within the machine learning domain, it is difficult to come up with a complete picture that includes every possible algorithm. Therefore, what we want to show you is a list of algorithm classes that we think are the most important ones to know. So what is an algorithm class? We refer, to a we refer to a class as a set of algorithms that share common properties. For example, any algorithm that is based on probabilistic methods. With this being said, we will introduce our machine learning taxonomy and provide a very brief overview of each algorithm class. As this course is meant to be introductory, and neither you nor we have the necessary amount of time, we can only cover a subset of this list in more detail. But more to this in later modules of this course. It is also important to note that the algorithm classes are not a subset of different learning paradigms as we have discussed them in our machine learning landscape. A single algorithm class can potentially be used in many different learning settings, where others might be a bit more limited. But the bottom line is that the machine learning taxonomy is an extension to the machine learning landscape, which looks at a common topic from a different perspective. The focus in this course will lie on five different classes, which are grouped together into three modules rule-based classification and regression, clustering and low-dimensional embeddings, and kernel methods. As all of them will be covered in more detail in the respective module, we will not go any further at this point. Outside of the scope of this course, there are many, many more algorithms to explore. One of the simpler algorithm classes is the set of distance-based methods. In this class, the algorithms share the common property of using distance metrics to compare different data points to each other. Such distant metrics are, for example, the Euclidean distance or the Manhattan distance, which you might have heard of already in a different course. The class of Bayesian methods, as we already teased in the beginning of this video, contains all algorithms that try to predict labels of future outputs based on Bayesian probability theory. Reinforcement methods are a bit more restricted to the application within the reinforcement learning paradigm, as the name already suggests. As reinforcement learning uses actions and rewards, defined within a specific environment such as a game, the algorithms simulate the behavior of an artificial agent or player within this environment. Ensemble methods take a special place, as this set is more like a set of sets of algorithms. Each method within this class shares the property of using a set of different algorithms that are used for the same task. We could, for example, use the same algorithm to train five different models of our, for our predictions. Or we could also use five different algorithms, well, or any combination of them. For our last algorithm class that we want to include in the machine learning taxonomy, we chose neural networks. These algorithms are orig originally inspired by the idea of how the human brain might work, but only a fraction of them can be actually called biologically inspired. Each neural network is comprised of a set of neurons that are grouped into different layers of the network and connected to each other. Neural networks also take a special place in this taxonomy as they are the heart of deep learning, forming a highly diverse subdomain of machine learning. So as this was only providing a very high level overview of a set of different algorithm classes that exist, you can find more details in the related script of this course where we will also mention some of the names of the algorithms for each class. And with this, you have reached the last video of module 1 of this course where we introduced you to the topic of artificial intelligence and machine learning. We learned the difference between those two terms and formed a very rough first idea of what this course will be about. We also briefly recapped the history of machine learning and some of the related disciplines to this field. Using our machine learning landscape and the machine learning taxonomy, we then also managed to get a brief view on the variety of different learning paradigms and algorithms within machine learning. And with this, coming up next, Module 2, all about data.